And I think it's just a mindset of whether it's D1, D2, you know, for us D2, it's, I think sometimes there's a stigma with the D2, but um, that I, I think the biggest thing is maybe we have to, they have to look at more what, what fits them. What, what's really a good fit? Do they want to continue to be on a, on a very good team and be challenged every day and, and have an opportunity to, to win a championship or do, do things that they might not have that opportunity if they went somewhere else? And so um, I, think, I, I think that's the, the battle I fight a lot in the recruiting. It's, you know, and, and to be honest, I, I do fight that battle of, you know, sometimes, oh, you got a lot of, you know, international students or international players on it. Yeah, I do. I mean, it's, but we have a good environment. You know, it's a, just a good environment. You know, you can still learn a lot from the internationals. I use them all. <laughs> I use them all. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I use, I use them all. I'm probably on, uh, on one, if not a handful of those sites on a daily basis. Yeah. So I use them. I use them all. There's a Facebook group called College Tennis Video Group. Uh, have you seen that? Are you on that? I might be. I might be on that. Okay. College Video. I, I think. College Tennis Video. I, is that Facebook, right? It is a Facebook. Yeah. Group. I. You know, my my players would tell me I'm not Facebook that <laughs> Facebook savvy, so I think I am a member of that okay. page. Yeah. But so not as active. As but not as active. Yeah. I. I, I Really, I am not the biggest. I'm not great at social media. <laughs> that's 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 a fault, right, right, right. especially in this day and age. Yeah, I do. I yeah, I do. I use it. I, I like to compare uh, lineups and teams. I, I like to do that, and you know, I, I do that throughout the season. I, I look obviously at. It, for me, it's also about results. Like I like to see. So it's not so much maybe about the the UTR that pops up. For me, it's more about, okay, there's a UTR. Let me see their results. Like, let me see who they played. Let me see how they did. Was it competitive? So I use it for, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I actually, funny you say that, I just had a meeting with our marketing director uh, yesterday. Um, and that was kind of our big conversation of how do we get more people to come out and watch matches. And, and so, you know, some of the things we're doing, especially, you know, with, with on campus and in the community is, you know, we sometimes we like to host free clinics, um, so we do a free clinic either before or after the match, and you know we, we like to bring in the community, whether it be local schools, local high schools, and we'll bring them in. Um, we'll, we'll we'll get them pizza, so like we'll we'll serve pizza during the doubles after the doubles is over, and then after the singles, we'll we'll host uh, just a, an hour, hour and a half clinic for the community. And so that that'll get them there. We like to do that. And, some of the other things we're doing is we're having giveaways. You know, we're, I think, you know, the men open up Saturday, and the first thing we're doing is, uh, since we're, we open up a little early, we're having coffee and donuts. So people that come in, they can have coffee, they can have donuts as they watch the match. So just little things like that we're trying to, to bring some excitement to, to get people on the court. I, I wish because that means I would have to stop doing it. So, <laughs> I mean, currently I am our social media okay. guru, and uh, I would not. Well, I wouldn't say guru, but I, I would say I'm the one who who does it and runs it to the dismay of my men's team. You know, to the guys because they're like they always want me to post more, they want me to show more, and um, you know sometimes that gets pushed to the to, to the bottom of the pile of things that I have to do. Um, but that, that would be great. I would love for, for that. But it's definitely a necessity as far as the, the Facebook pages, the Instagram pages. And we do Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So during the matches, I, I get yelled at from our sports information people to make sure I'm tweeting you know, updates and things like that. So I try, and it is a necessity. And I, I wish someone else could do it. <laughs> I wish I could hire a professional to do it. I think it's a good way for alumni to connect back with you, Absolutely. also recruits to yeah. connect with the program. And yeah. there's some, for me, there's some. For me, for me, I feel like I end up coaching more about uh, strategy and how how to improve, like the doubles, like our you know we're, we're kids that come in freshman year. That's a big thing that we work on. We we really work a lot on doubles in the fall and just and really throughout the season, throughout the year. Um, teaching the doubles how we want to play it how where to be how to move how to communicate so a lot of that um and then it, and it's more about too like okay you, 
because we have some internationals, it's, it's uh, about teaching them how to be smart and become a hard court player, um, getting them to, to move closer to the baseline, things like that. So it's more of just how to be a little bit more effective on the hard court, um, for, for me at least that with, with the group that I have. I mean, do I have people come out here and we work on their volleys and do we work on their ground strokes? And do Yeah, we do. We do some individuals where we work on things like that. But as far as major tweaking of, of grips or swings, uh, not a lot of that. I, I mean, yeah, I would say yes. I think that's our goal. I mean, for a freshman that walks on campus, you know, my goal is as a coach is to make sure that they're a better player when they leave, but also a better person, better just all, all around. And that's our goal. That's my goal especially. And I think I, I would hope that that's the goal of all the coaches, whether it be D1, D2, D3. And, it, you know, all those coaches is, is the development of the player and, and development as a whole, though. I, I think it's – for me, it's it's not all about the wins and the losses, but it's you know about those relationships that you create through those four years and and the development, and you can see them grow, you can see them mature, you can um, you know you, and that to me is fulfilling. You know you can you get invited to their wedding and and, and things like that. They, you know you you follow them and they have kids and it's that's that's been my biggest. Um, takeaway I think or, or just something that just means real, a lot to me because um, I've been here for so long now I got kids married you got, they've got her players that have married kids <laughs> families and and so um, that's important to me to see them be successful outside the tennis court and know that you know I had a player just last week text me um, who, who just graduated and just saying thank you thank you for you know what you did for me you you prepared me for this real world and so that to me is the most fulfilling aspect of what I do.